Virtual and augmented reality technology is here. It's transforming the gaming industry and the art world, but it's still in its infancy. And what we'd like to do is transform it into the education space. I think the best way to describe augmented reality is taking a digital object and rendering it over a real space. So here's a real life example. You walk around campus, you find the life science building, you go inside, on the floor in this building are symbols of actual research that's being conducted within this building. But how would you ever know that? If I had a cell phone with augmented reality, I could actually pull it out and see these symbols come to life in a three-dimensional space. Well, my favorite has got to be the textbook. Let's say you want to know what exactly chapter one is about. Uh, you just go to the first introductory page and there is a video that basically is an introduction to the entire chapter. Hi everyone. In this video, we will explore the question, what is chemistry and how does it relate to other areas of science and to everyday life? Being able to take molecules that pop out of the, the book and manipulate them to see the full three-dimensional space is so much better than just seeing it, you know, plastered onto the paper. So how the software actually works is basically two things, trigger and action. The trigger could be a painting, a picture, anything in the real world can become a trigger. The action could be play a video, give me a 3D model. So every time we put the augmented reality app up, the camera just looks for a trigger. And if it triggers on a painting, the action could be play a video explaining what the painting is about or give the life story of the artist. I think the grand impact on how AR would affect everybody is just the fact that it, it plays on so many different dimensions. It brings so much more to the table when it comes with learning and, and just experiencing things as a, as a whole. The reason Rutgers cares about this is because augmented reality is in its infancy and we are one of the pioneers in educational technology. We want to keep pushing the boundary.